welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW or the Weight Watchers Blue Plan. It's Wednesday so it's another what I eat in a day. You're going to see all of my food throughout the day today, a really delicious instant pot dinner recipe. It was so easy, incredibly good and it's pasta, so you definitely can't go wrong with pasta. I'm also going to share with you some new probiotics I'm taking and how I came about those probiotics because they're amazing and an absolute game changer. There's just a ton of fun in store for you today. So if you're excited for today's video, please give it a big huge thumbs up. It really helps out my channel and lets me know to keep putting out these what I eat in a days. Also, if you're new or you're not yet subscribed, I'd absolutely love to have you. All you have to do is hit the little subscribe button and the bell next to it so you're notified whenever I upload new videos. We do a what I eat in a day every Wednesday so you don't want to miss out. Check out that description box down below for my 2021 custom calendar calendar. If you have not gotten one, definitely do. I have received so much amazing feedback from you guys that you absolutely am in love with the calendar. I love it as well. It's been a game changer for tracking, staying on tracking, seeing results. So you can pick that up on my nutrition coaching website. I'll link that down in the description box along with all of my options for coaching one-on-one -on -one and macro and calorie calculation, as well as links and discounts to everything I shared with you today and all of my other favorite things. And last but not least my Facebook group. We'd love to have you join us. We're almost 18,000 members strong and we'd love to have you come on over and join us. So without further ado, let's jump into this week's What I Eat in a Day. breakfast time. I'm going to have four of these all natural Jones turkey sausage links. This is what four look like. So it's a lot for actually only two smart points. And then I'm going to make a scramble. So I'm going to do one full egg, two egg whites. And then I actually have this leftover steam in the bag broccoli from dinner. I'm going to add that also to my little scramble with some seasoning. I'm going to season it with some of the Trader Joe's onion salt and just let that scramble up. And then I'm just think I'm just going to pair it with some fruit. So let me let this cook and I'll be back to show you breakfast. So here's my breakfast. It looks so good. What I ended up doing was adding about a tablespoon of Parmesan cheese to the top of it and then popped it in the microwave to allow it to melt. So this whole scramble right here is only two points for the sausage. One point for the Parmesan it makes three points. You guys, that that's it for breakfast. I'm getting in some protein with the eggs, some veggies with that leftover broccoli. So it's a very, very well rounded solid breakfast. And then I just have some organic blueberries here. So this entire breakfast, three smart points. Now that I finished breakfast, I'm going to take my supplements for the day. I, it's been a while since I showed you guys the greens that I take, and I've actually been taking a probiotic. So a company called Thrive Gut Health reached out to me a while ago, several weeks ago actually, and invited me to take part in a gut health test. Essentially what you do is you submit a sample and then it comes back and it lets you know whether or not your gut health is in its tip top shape. And we know how incredibly important gut health is. It's what makes you regular. It's what makes you feel good. It can lead to a lot of major medical issues if you don't have a thriving healthy gut. So you receive the gut health test, you submit your sample, and a week or two later you get the results. So I wanted to share with you guys about Thrive and how that led me to take these probiotics. All right, I'm sending it out. I have it all sealed up, ready to go. Shipping is actually even prepaid for you, so all you have to do is drop it at the post office. You should expect your results in two to three weeks once your sample is sent off. Two weeks later. So the results of my test are back. 
So let's take a look at what this looks like. So my gut score is 80. Ooh, your gut is close to an ideal shape. Keep it up. You might have high skin inflammation levels. Oh, that's interesting. Here's where you can order your personalized probiotic. So it says that I have five gut bacterias that need work. So I'm going to go ahead and order my personalized probiotic. They even give you a personalized food plan. So let's click on that and see kind of what that looks like. Because you can see here that it says 265 foods to eat and 22 to avoid. So I'm pretty curious as to what this is going to tell me as far as what foods to avoid. So here are the food recommendations. Here's what's recommended and what to avoid. So it says that my top five vegetables that I should be consuming are shiitake mushrooms, spaghetti squash, spinach, squash and straw mushrooms. That's interesting because I do actually love all of those vegetables and eat them quite regularly. My top five fruits are sour cherries, avocados, cherries, grapes, and plantains. I eat all of those except plantains. I really should give that another try. I haven't had those in a long time. My top five legumes, top three nuts and seeds, and the top five meats, and my top four poultries, top five fish and shellfish, and my top five dairy, top five grains, top five herbs and spices, and my top three oils and fats, and for drinks, it's telling me to drink green tea. And for dessert, they're recommending dark chocolate. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, I should be avoiding jicama, sweet potato, potato, red potato, russet potatoes. Okay, that's sad that I shouldn't be eating potatoes because I love potatoes. And the top two fruits I should be avoiding are pineapple and kiwi fruit. Now it tells you the reasonings right here. So when you do your test, it'll tell you why you should avoid those items or why you should eat those items. I should avoid baguettes and French bread. Hmm, that's interesting. And for alcohol, I should avoid sparkling wine, tequila, red wine, Marcella wine, and vermouth, which I don't really honestly drink a lot of alcohol as it is, so that's not really much of a worry. So very interesting. These results are extremely comprehensive. I love, I love it. I think it's such a great tool, super affordable for everything that you get. So here are the bacterias that I am struggling with or that need to be improved. So it's telling me the type of bacteria. So this is a good bacteria. This is the name of it, Ackermansia. Only one to 5% of the microbes in your gut are of the Ackermansia species. So it's saying that my level was 0 0.0005 when the healthy average is 1.80. So it's deficient and needs work. And then you can click the little learn more button and it'll give you here why yours is deficient and needs work compared to the average, what that good bacteria is and the benefits of that good bacteria and how to improve it. Number one easiest way to improve these bacteria levels, these good bacteria levels is with a probiotic. So I am super excited to get my hands on my customers custom probiotic. So you can see that my probiotics were for me. Luckily, my gut was in pretty good shape and you guys, I'm attributing that to eating a cleaner diet and also to drinking kombucha every single day. Whether it's a quarter bottle, half a bottle, or a bottle, I think that that really helped lead my gut to be what is considered superior when it comes to my gut health. As you saw, I was deficient in five probiotics, which is interesting because all five of those, like I said, are actual ailments that I have. I have trouble losing and maintaining my weight. I have dry skin patches. All of those actually were true. And that's what I found very interesting. The process was very, very simple. Everything from submitting the test, waiting for the results, checking out the dashboard like I shared with you, and then actually taking the probiotics. So you have the option to order your personalized probiotics by the month or by the three months. So what I did is I ended up going with the three months. So I actually have three full months of my probiotics. It was a better price. It was a little bit more affordable. And until my gut health is where it needs to be and I'm not deficient in probiotics, this is really truly such a simple way to get my probiotics in. You take two tablets once a day with a meal. So since I just ate breakfast, I'm going to take my two probiotics and I'm also going to take my greens. These are the My Adventure to Fit greens. I'll link these down below. I will also link 
thrive down below. My husband is so excited to order himself the test. He wants to know how his gut health is because like I said, it's so apparent to having a healthy, happy body. Nobody wants stomach issues or gut issues and just by taking this personalized to you probiotic every single day, your gut health is going to be in excellent, excellent shape. So I'll link Thrive down below for you guys with a discount. The discount applies to both ordering the test as well as ordering your personalized probiotics. So you can just order the test and see how your gut health is. You just can't order probiotics without the test first. It's super affordable, especially with giving you guys a discount. Highly recommend. I think every single person should actually test out their gut health just to make sure that it's operating in its most efficient manner. So let's take our probiotics, let's take our greens. So again, I'll link Thrive Gut Health down below for you guys. If you yourself or a friend or family are on a healthy lifestyle endeavor in 2021, this is a great way to really get the best results possible. When your gut health is in order, you're going to see the best results, even on the scale. So definitely check out Thrive down below. Do you think you need a treat? Is that what you think? Okay, I have an idea. I showed you guys these in my grocery haul and the dogs love them. So I think we'll give them a little treat. She sits here and stares at me, which means mom, I want a treat. There you go, babe. Oh, salmon skin. They don't look that appetizing, but the dogs, they love them. And this one is not gonna get out of bed. No, you're not. A salmon skin? For a morning snack, I'm gonna do a high protein with some cottage cheese. So I have four points or 193 grams of good culture. You guys know this is my very favorite. My husband ate most of it this morning for breakfast. I had no idea. So I went ahead and weighed out the rest of what was in the container. 193 grams, it ends up being four points because it is full fat cottage cheese. And then I just drained a no sugar added Del Monte pear cup and poured that on top. And then of course I'm having kombucha. So this is the Synergy Pure Love Blood Orange Hibiscus and Rose. This is so so delicious. If you're new to kombucha, this is a great starter. Even though it's seasonal, it's sweet. It doesn't taste vinegary at all like a lot of other kombuchas. I just did an entire video on kombucha on my other channel. I will make sure that I link that video and my other channel so you can go subscribe to that as well down below for you. I count the entire bottle as one point. Technically it's three, but it's 50 calories. So it's one point to me and then four points worth of the cottage cheese and fruit. So this is going to be a five smart point morning snack. together. I made this over the weekend and am obsessed with it. It's so easy and it's so delicious. So the base of my wrap is one of the Olay Extreme Wellness Wraps. These are really good. They're nice and soft and they're only one smart point for the entire wrap. And then I just spread one wedge of the Light Laughing Cow Cheese. These are currently on sale at Costco. So if you're a fan, you can get four or five packs for $5, just a really, really good price. So you can see, I just kind of spread that on the bottom. And then I went ahead and added some dill pickle chips for zero and also some shredded lettuce for zero. And then I have six nuggets, which are my favorite nuggets, the Kid Fresh. You can have six nuggets for only four smart points. So not a bad deal at all. I love them. They're absolutely delicious. So I added some of those to my wrap. I'll just roll this up and that'll be my lunch along with one three quarter serving of the Hungry Girl Tropical Dump Cake that I made in meal prep on Monday. If you haven't seen meal prep, 
check it out, you guys. All three recipes are exceptional. This dump cake is serious game changer. You would never know this is WW friendly. It is that delicious. So I have that for four smart points. I think I told you guys six nuggets is four points. It's only three points, actually. So I have three points for the nuggets, one for the tortilla, one for the cheese makes five, and then four points for the dump cake. So my lunch is nine smart points. It is 1.25 in the afternoon and my gallon is gone, which is exciting. This is all that is left. So I'm gonna go ahead and chop up a lemon, throw it into my jug. I've told you guys in previous videos, but if you're new here or you missed that video, what I do is I actually fill my gallon up the night before, put it in the refrigerator. That way my water's cold all day long. And then during the day, I fill from my big gallon into my smaller container. Again, that way my water stays nice and cold, so it'll be ready to go for tomorrow. It's afternoon snack time. It's about 2.30 and I am hungry. I have a lot of points left today, so I'm going to have a big snack, but also a higher point snack of some of my favorite things. So I made myself up a little snack plate here. I have the Nick sticks. It's actually this entire package. You get two of the meat sticks for two smart points, 75 calories, 10 grams of protein, and they're the best. The green package, the turkey ones, so good. If you struggle to get your protein in or you're a big meat stick fan, these are grass fed, grass finished. They're delicious and you can't beat both of these for two smart points. I'll link them down below. The best price is on Amazon to pick these up. And then I have 20 or two points worth of these veggie wavy chips. I really like these because they're more of a chip style. So they're good for dipping because I also have one point worth of the La Terrafina spinach, artichoke, and Parmesan dip. So I'm going to dip the veggie crackers into the dip. And then since I finished my gallon of water, yay, I'm going to have my Ourobora. And this is the lavender and cucumber. These you can buy off of Thrive Market. It's the best sparkling water ever. I've raved about these over and over again. Definitely check out Thrive anyways. Their prices are 30% less than the grocery store and they have thousands of healthy items. So I'll link Thrive down below and Nick sticks for you. But this is two, four, five, a five smart point afternoon snack. For dinner tonight, I'm making healthy Tuscan chicken pasta. We're doing this in my Instant Pot because my oven is still not working. Couple more days, couple more days. So for tonight's dinner, we'll do it in the Instant Pot. You could also make this on the stovetop if you chose to do that. So let me show you what's in our dinner. So first you're going to need either fresh basil or dried basil, whatever your preference. I just think fresh basil makes everything a little bit better. You're also going to need some baby spinach, some pasta. As always, I'm going to be using the Fiber Gourmet. This is the Rotini shape. Fiber Gourmet pasta is amazing. You guys know if you've been around, I talk about it all the time. If you're new, game changer. Whether you're doing Weight Watchers or calories, this is a complete game changer. This pasta is 100 calories versus 210 for two ounces of pasta, making it only two points for two ounces. Two ounces dry is a standard serving of pasta that is five to six smart points normally. So fiber gourmet, game changer in points and calories. 25 grams of fiber versus two grams of fiber. One serving of fiber gourmet reaches your fiber goal for the day, which is also amazing. 17 grams of net carbs versus 41. And there are seven grams of protein per serving. It tastes just as good as regular pasta. You can't tell a difference. And my picky husband wants this over any other pasta. So highly Highly, highly recommend, especially to save points and calories and still get that delicious pasta. You can buy this on Nettrition's website. I will make sure I link Nettrition down below. It does come in four different shapes. There's rotini, penne, elbow, and noodles. So spaghetti noodle, linguine noodle. So highly, highly recommend. We're also going to need some cottage cheese. So I have the low fat, good culture. Chicken, I'm using my organic chicken breast from ButcherBox. You guys, if you have not gotten a hold of ButcherBox, it's amazing. I usually buy my red meat from them, but I decided to go ahead and pick up some chicken and it's the best chicken we have ever, ever had. So now 
I will plan on getting chicken from ButcherBox as well. I do have a link for $30 off down in the description box. So check out ButcherBox grass-fed, grass-finished organic meats. You'll also need Italian seasoning, minced garlic, chicken broth, Greek yogurt, Parmesan cheese, and sun-dried tomatoes. These are from Nutstop. I'll also link Nutstop for you guys in the description box. It's not an affiliate link. It just shows that I sent you over. I don't get any commission, but it's just a great way to support Nutstop as they are a small business. So those are our ingredients. So let's get a move on for tonight's dinner. The first thing I'm going to do is chop up my basil just into a little bit smaller pieces. We need about a quarter of a cup. And then I'm also going to dice my chicken into bite-sized pieces as well. So I have my Instant Pot on saute. I'm going to just give it a big spray with some nonstick cooking spray. Once it gets nice and hot, we'll start preparing our meal. Once your Instant Pot is hot, we're going to add in one half of a cup of sun-dried tomatoes, one tablespoon of minced garlic, ooh, I love that, sizzle, and some Italian seasoning. We're gonna let this cook for about 30 seconds or just until it's fragrant. Then we're going to add in our diced up chicken and we're going to let this cook until the chicken is most of the way cooked through. Once your chicken is browned on all sides, we are gonna go ahead and add in three cups of chicken broth. I went ahead and turned the Instant Pot off of saute mode. Now we're going to add in our pasta and we just wanna make sure that all of the pasta is in the liquid. You don't want any pasta above the liquid line. Go ahead and put your lid on and we are going to cook this on high for three minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the manual button and then set it for three minutes. In a regular bowl, go ahead and add your non-fat Greek yogurt as well as the cottage cheese. We have three quarters of a cup of both the non-fat Greek yogurt and the low-fat cottage cheese. Add those together and stir them really, really well so that they're fully combined. Once the three minutes is up, you're going to go ahead and quick release the pressure. Go ahead and release the top off of the Instant Pot. You can see that the pasta is cooked all the way. Give it a stir. There is a little bit of liquid at the bottom. You wanna make sure that you're removing any additional liquid. Immediately return it to the Instant Pot and add in two cups of fresh spinach and one quarter cup of basil. Give that a stir and give it a chance to wilt. It should only take a couple of minutes. If you find that it's not wilting very good, you can just pop the lid back on and it should wilt right up. This looks so good. So our spinach is nice and wilted as well as the basil. So the last step is we're going to add in that cottage cheese and non-fat Greek yogurt mixture and stir that in with the pasta. Now this pasta you want to serve immediately. It does make good leftovers, but initially you want to go ahead and serve it immediately. Last step is two thirds of a cup of Parmesan cheese. Stir that in and we'll get this plated up. I'll be back to share points and calories. So here is my dinner for tonight. The recipe makes six servings. It is four smart points per serving on both the blue and purple plan and six points on green just because you do have to account for the chicken and that is using fiber gourmet pasta. Now if you use a different pasta of course your points are going to change. If you are on purple and you use a zero point pasta this is two smart points per serving. 253 calories not bad for a pasta night and this looks and smells incredible. I'm feeling a little bit snacky so I'm going to have some of the Lily's chocolate mint flavor chips. I can munch on these for a while because you can actually have 26 chips for only two smart points. I think I have six points left for today, but I'm only gonna have two to three points worth of the lily. So that's going to be tonight's dessert. Thank you for joining me on another What I Eat Today on WW. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me today, seeing all of my food. That amazing, amazing Instant Pot dinner recipe is an absolute must make. Make sure you're checking out that description box for the calendar, nutrition coaching, links and discount codes to my favorite things. I will link Thrive at the very top of the description box for you. Definitely, definitely take advantage of that. I'm excited to order it for Troy. It's really important to know where your gut is because it just plays a part in so many pieces of our life. So I'll link that first in the description box along with nutrition coaching, my calendar, my Facebook group, 
all my other favorite things. Whew, there's a lot in that description box, so definitely check it out. If you enjoyed today's video, please give it a big, huge thumbs up. And don't forget, if you're new or you're not yet subscribed, hit the little subscribe button. I'd absolutely love to have you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Happy Wednesday, and I'll see you next time. Bye.